So I'm here at Freedom Fest, uh, having amazing conversations about ethics and values and respect. And I am very lucky that I have with me today Gary Olsted, who is an engineer at SpaceX. Gary, tell us about yourself. Uh, yeah, engineer at SpaceX, uh, 30 years in the industry. Nice. Just started getting involved in the Libertarian Party. Uh, California, I'm an at-large member of the executive committee in California. Very good, excellent, good, I'm glad. So, I guess what I wanted to chat about today wasn't necessarily about libertarianism or anything like that, but the idea that people tend to lean left or lean right, and that's kind of their values. But I want to talk about more about ethics, right? If you look at this left versus right, happens a lot, but my concern is your ethics, meaning when is it okay to use coercion? When is it not okay? When should we be using persuasion? And that kind of thing. So you're as left or as right as you want to be. The question is about ethics, is more. And to set this up, if I could, I think most people would agree, tell me if I'm wrong, that regardless of whether you're left or right, or lean either way, that everybody wants to be happy. You think that's true? Yeah. I think that that's probably always, right? And if someone were to harm you in some way, physically or something like that, try to hurt you in some way, hey, you're gonna be less happy, right? Yes. And it's kind of common sense, right? We sure. would all say that. Sure. But at the same time as something else though, if someone were to try to take your things or break your things or vandalize your things, whether through theft or even through fraud, I think you'd be unhappy too, right? Yes. Every time, right? Sure. Sure. So the concept that I think I'm bringing up here is if we want people to be happy, we want to not be hurting them, not taking their things, and we're going to have more harmony, more happiness, more prosperity. The question I have though is, I know you and I feel that way, but are, but are we special? Or does everyone in their own heart say, yeah, I want happiness too. I just don't want people taking my stuff and I don't want people hurting me. Is that everybody or just us? No, I think everybody feels that way. Everybody does. About their own stuff. Sure. Yes. Oh, you're yes. very clear, your own stuff. <laughs> yeah. So they kind of want somebody else's stuff sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. But the idea that personally for us to be happy, maybe us and, and those we love, right, in our circle, sure. we would say it's kind of universal that we feel this way. Yes. So it's almost like a principle that if we respect each other and we have that human respect that we don't want to harm each other or, or hurt or, or take property, that there's going to be more happiness, more harmony, and more prosperity. Would you agree with that? Yes. So that's kind of a principle. Yeah. Okay, so. I love that. With that in mind, let me ask you, is there a time when there's an exception? Meaning, let's say, um, the GOP says, hey, we want to make life better for people and we want to decide who can get married to whom. So we want to pass a law that decides we're going to impose our will on others and we're going to decide X people can get married, Y people can't get married, blah, blah, blah. Is that a good exception? I mean, the, the person who would want to pass that bill or that law is trying to help by saying that certain people can't get yes. married? They're yeah, trying no, to make I... society better, they're trying oh, okay. to help, right? They're trying yeah. to do the right thing. They're not trying to hurt, they're okay. trying to help. Okay. Is that a good exception? No. Why not? Well, because one, the whole concept of making society better mm -hmm. is so subjective. Ah, okay, Right, sure. I mean, so uh, who knows? Who's to say what would make society better and what wouldn't? Okay, um, well, what if they had some data? What if they could show you data that says, see, when only these people get, ma get married, statistically, this is better, that's better, this is better, and they could show you data to, to prove that. Right. Would that change your mind? No. Again, because I, I don't necessarily agree with the, the collective putting people in, that if you put all these people in buckets, you know, if, if two if two men wanted to get married, yep. and the fact that other men have gotten married and it hasn't worked out shouldn't affect that. The only thing they have in common is that they're all men. Okay, so you think that even though you might disagree with that, and they might disagree with that, that you should still respect the rights of people to get married how they want to? Yeah. Either way. Sure. Oh, okay, great. So, so 
And if we don't do that, then we're going to be hurting people. Yes. Right? Because now someone is going to have to go into somebody's bedroom and see who they're sleeping with. <laughs> right. Someone's going to do that. Right. Right? And then someone's getting hurt and bad things are happening. Okay. So if government were to do that, that's coercion, obviously. Yes. So let's go the opposite way. Now we have, say, Democrats who say, I have to help people. This isn't making society better. This is saving lives. I can get rid of all the guns because it's saving lives. And I can show you data. Here's the data that says if you have a gun, here's a chance that you're going to get killed. Blah, blah. Right. They give you data. So see, I'm going to save lives if I get rid of all the guns. The Democrat who proposes this, they're not trying to hurt you. Right. They're trying to save lives. Is this a good exception? I don't think it is. Why not? Well, because, um, again, like I said, it's, it's this collective idea of, you're saying an individual person can't have guns because right. on the on the whole, correct. Everybody having a gun would be, you know, has some bad outcome. Some bad outcome that right. I'm showing you with data. Right. I'm giving you right. data to show you there's a, there's a bad outcome. Right. Yeah. No. So I, I still wouldn't do it just because I I guess I believe the individual has has the right to make that decision. Well, I think you, whether you, or not you they can say, handle. You could say right when it comes to when it comes to the gun because of Second Amendment? Yeah. Can you say right when it comes to marriage? Is marriage a right? Well, then you, okay. So, uh, I guess, uh, you know, kind of an anarchist, right? I don't, I'm not really sure when you say right, it's what can somebody else stop you from doing? Ah, okay, so you're not, you're not even talking about legally. Yeah. Okay, I was talking about legally, but that's fine. I was saying they want to pass a law. Yeah. You're okay. saying even, not even that. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so let's stick to the uh, right. Uh -huh. Okay, I, yes, I do believe that you have a right. I mean, if you want to get the Constitution is, yep. I mean, you know, the, it, it's very clear. The Bill of Rights aren't a list of the things you're allowed to do. Mm -hmm. The Constitution is a handcuff to the government. These are the only things they're allowed to I to wish do. more people would see it that way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yes, well, and that's, yes. I mean, you know, Madison didn't even want a Bill of Rights because he, he, saw exactly what where we'd be right now. Right, people right, would right. say, okay, well now that we've made the list of things you can do, everything else is right is negotiable. Right, right, right. So right. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know I I wouldn't even argue a right to have a gun. I'm just saying there's nobody that has the moral authority to tell you you can't have a gun. Well, what if it's Unt going until you start using it. Well that's my issue. Yeah. What if I mean at one point isn't isn't the threat of violence at one point Valid, right? Right. I mean, me having a gun versus me pointing a gun at you. Totally different. Right. Two separate things. Yes. Right. Yes. At what point is the threat of the problem? At what point is that okay to use coercion, to to take the guns or whatever, or to stop the marriages or right, whatever is right. the thing? Is there a point where you go, yeah, take the guns, or no, stop the marriages? No, not plural. There's a okay. case where you say take the gun if a guy either uses it or threatens okay. to use it, sure. you know, in a, in a situation that isn't, where he's the initiator, Got the it. aggressor. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't ever think that you can, because other people have misused it, there's, that doesn't say that there's ever a point where you can take it away from everybody. Got it. Got it. Okay. But the, the problem I have, though, is what if people vote on it? So what most people in America believe right. is that if I vote on it, that's not violence. Right. See, because right. I'm not doing it. The ATF is doing it, or right. the sheriff is doing it, or the cops are doing it, or the insert government agency, right, is doing the thing. Right. It's not me, it's the IRS, yeah. right? It's not me doing it. Right. So we voted on it. Yeah. So now you say, but wait a minute, I want to keep my gun, or I want to get married. And I go, yeah, you do, but we voted. Right. And we said, the 51% of us said you can't have a gun. <laughs> right. Or you right. can't get married. Now, I know we're kind of joking. But that's a real thought process in America, isn't oh, it? Oh, sure. That's what most people would tell you. So how do we handle well, that? Well, until, until people vote and they come up with something they don't like, like, yes. like banning abortion, <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's not up to the, the majority anymore. But Absolutely. But forgetting that. So um, what I feel like what we're actually saying here is whether or not the majority says so, whether or not you personally agree with it, we've got to respect each other. Yes. That respect is the key, and human respect is the key. That principle you talked about kind of comes back right here. 
something. Right. To say, if we think about human respect, we don't want to just take the gun. Even if we hate guns. Yeah. yeah even if you hate guns, you wouldn't want to stop someone else from using it. Even if you don't like people getting married a certain way. Eh, I don't have to do it, let someone else do it. That seems to be like the, the principle of human respect we've been talking about. Is, is that is that where your head is? Yeah, yeah. It's a, so is there an exception? To, to saying, no, I, we got to go do the thing. Is it um, vaccines because the virus could kill everybody? Is it that? Is it, um, is it the draft because the Chinese might invade, right? Is there an exception to where you'd go, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's forget this human respect thing. Yeah. Let's just draft people or let's just make everybody get vaccinated. Is there a time when you would say that? I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I don't, not at all. Not at all. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't think that, um, if it's worth doing, you, you, you won't have to coerce people to do it. Ah, okay. If, so you think persuasion yeah. is the answer in every case? Yeah. Got I it. mean, I, I think, you know, for a draft, if, if the Soviets or, you know, whoever, right. Canadians suddenly right. invaded the U.S., you yeah. wouldn't have to draft people to protect this country. Right. Or, or if you did, it's not worth protecting. Oh, we could beat the Canadians at least. <laughs> I, I would, would hope, hope so. Could. I would hope so. <laughs> I would hope so, yes. Yeah. But, <laughs> yes. But, um, yeah, and, and vaccine. You know, if there was a vaccine and it was... People knew that it was safe. You know, if, if polio came sure. up all of a sudden, and, and we've known that the vaccine is safe, we know that polio is really deadly and really contagious. You know, people would take. You wouldn't have to force people to get a vaccine. They they'd be, they'd be fighting to get one. Got it. So right? persuasion in your case is is number one. Yeah, the fact that you have to coerce somebody means you just don't have a good case. Got it. You can't persuade them. I, I like the idea. You're actually saying that government is coercion and that if we are to use government we should always be thinking that it is all about human respect first that that idea that if government were to go that route we'd have a whole lot more happiness a whole lot more harmony and a whole lot more prosperity yes i love that i'm glad we had this conversation all right it's good talking to you hey you too have a good one. yeah